Gold prices are lower this Thursday following a hawkish FOMC that came out on Wednesday. We have Jim Wyckoff joining us this morning to help us break it down. Jim, thanks for being with us. Hello, Danielle. Always nice to be with you. Jim, so the marketplace still digesting Wednesday's FOMC statement, which was deemed surprisingly hawkish on U.S. monetary policy. Let's look at what's happening post-FOMC. Well, Danielle, uh, the, uh, I think the main impetus for the gold market was the uh, strong rally in the U.S. dollar. Uh, the uh, U.S. dollar index is hovering near a uh, four-year high. Uh, that put downside price pressure on gold. The other thing that's impacting gold is that uh, we've, we've got some geopolitical hotspots that have uh, simmered down here the past several weeks, but those hotspots are lurking. And I think that uh, uh, if gold sinks too much farther, I suspect that uh, there's going to be an event, a uh, geopolitical event, that's probably going to uh, limit the downside. Jim, and let's take a closer look at some of the language the Fed used for this meeting in regards to inflation. So in the past, they said inflation has moved somewhat closer to the committee's longer run objective. And on Wednesday, they come out saying inflation has been running below the committee's longer run objective. So is inflation a real threat to the Fed here? Uh, Daniela, I think, you know, history shows that when you uh, pump a lot of money into circulation, that there is inflationary pressures that follow. And uh, I suspect the Fed was a little bit worried about that. They also mentioned the, uh, the strengthening U.S. economy. And that, that was the, the thing that was deemed a bit hawkish, especially after we did see a few uh, pieces of economic data here just in recent week that might have called that uh, U.S. economic strength into question. But uh, the FOMC members uh, believe that the economy is on a, on a better track and probably going to allow them to raise interest rates in 2015. Now, Jim, following the FOMC, gold's reaction was downward, hitting a three-week low. What are you seeing on the gold front? What do the technical charts have in store? Well, gold, uh, you know, it's interesting, Daniela. The, the, the great thing about analyzing charts and technical analysis is that they give you an early indication of what may be coming. And we indeed saw the uh, technical posture for gold begin to weaken uh, within the past week. And then we saw the, the, the bearish fundamental news come out on Wednesday. So uh, the gold market was in a weak technical posture. The bears have gained downside price momentum. And we've got a very important price level to defend. And that is the... Uh, the low around 1183 in the in the Comex futures market. Uh, if prices fall below that, you'll probably see a, another stiff leg down in prices, and, and, and a challenge of $1,000 could not be ruled out if that did occur. So it's a very important number. Need to defend 1183. Thank you, Jim. On that note, let's get to your Wyckoff market rating for the week. Have you changed it since yesterday? Yes, I have, Danielle. I'm giving the a December COMEX gold, a rating of 1.5. That's fully in the bearish camp. It's the lowest rating I've had in some time. Uh, solid technical resistance at this week's high of 1235.50. And again, we've got that very, very important technical support level at 1183 level. That is also the low from last year, I believe. So a uh, very important number. Looking at uh, December COMEX silver, Price has hit a four-year low today, uh, giving that a white cost market rating of one. The price trend is uh, solidly down. Uh, we've got overhead resistance at 1740. That this week's high. Solid technical support at 16 dollars. All right, Jim. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. And thanks for watching. Technically speaking, with Jim Wyckoff. On another note, be sure to register for the Grand Cayman Liberty Forum. Kiko News will be there November 16th to the 20th. We'd love for you to join us in the Cayman and hear the likes of Doug Casey, Peter Schiff, Adrian Day. It's just a roster full of the most celebrated names in the industry, so be sure to register. And we'll see you on Friday.